Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for 2021. This is your yearly overview. Thank you for tuning in. So, Sag, 2021 is going to be a very important year for you and I feel 2022 as well, but we're focusing on this new year coming in. Um, I do see like a lot of shifts and changes happening. Um, certain things that might have been on the back burner you might you know were thinking about of doing of starting but you know you weren't really ready or you're like mm, maybe it's not the right time you really start to uh, invest in in the year of 2021 so i feel already like the month december is bringing in these changes with of course your new moon uh, solar eclipse and of course happy birthday once again <laughs> I'm recording it in your bird this in your birthday season but if you listen to this in january then happy new year and i hope you had a great birthday season all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put 12 cards down each card represent one of the months and of course i'll use some clarifiers uh, as well but we're just gonna start off and you're starting off in january feeling really good about something okay ten of cups that's a that's a high way to start this new year okay let's see what we got for Sagittarius for the month of February what's coming in for the month of February nice the page of cups with the queen of cups for March it's all about feeling good in the beginning of the year how do you feel about things for April we have the seven of swords and for May, for my Sagittarius, what do we have for Sagittarius for the month of May? It's a little bit too many cards, I'm just gonna keep on shuffling. One card please for May, there we go. I just literally <laughs> landed on my arm. The Lovers. Beautiful, okay, I'm gonna make a little bit more space. For June, what do we have for June? We have the Four of Cups for June and for July. What is coming in for the month of July? There we go. Wow, that was a nice one. Three of Cups. Again, a cup card. For August, we have the... We have you. The Temperance. That's your card, Sagittarius. So definitely summertime seems to start off a certain way, but then it takes a different turn for you guys. September is the king of swords, back to business and the eight of swords for October. Oh, that's too many cards, guys. Okay, we do have one who's upright, which is the page of wands for the month of November. And then for December, December next year, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles is your extra card. All right, so let's tune in to that for a little bit. I see in the beginning of the year, you start your, your energy starts high. You start to feel maybe, you know, uh, a push from these energy shifts that are going to happen in this this month so december you're going to start off motivated inspired feeling like okay i really want to make some changes or just overall still feeling the feelings of you know the holiday season you know feeling connected to the people around you basically and also rediscovering it's so nice to just connect with the people around you you are having some some uh, shifts and changes in your own house or so your first house and then of course also in your seventh which is your opposite because you know gemini in north node um so definitely i feel there is a lot of transformation happening and a lot of action and energy around your seventh house which is your house of relationships not just romantic relationships also just you know the people you keep close um the family members you connect to 
also your relationship in things to well no to things you know like how you feel in your surrounding what way you connect to um, yeah other people but also places and things and things you you feel interested in or inspired by and all of those things like your relation in you know towards things so i feel the ten of cups really indicates like okay you have a certain goal in mind you are very uh family orientated which is you know important for you family is important to you whether that is your own chosen family it's your family in law or it's your blood related family families you know it's a bright perspective so i see in february you starting off with the page of cups so that energy is really you know your the fifth house you're starting to feel a f number five year energy of like okay let's be creative let's try something different i love you to see you in the page of cups energy sag because it's like your spontaneous side comes out your adventurous side come out you start to feel a push um as well of like feeling maybe you want to you know have some short trips here and there even if you know you connect you, your surrounding you know keeps you from actually going on vacation to a far destiny but you might have some short trips coming up and i feel like that's something that will stay with you to in 2001 to out the entire year you might find yourself um, you know all of a sudden being invited to small trips or actually feeling guided to do certain things or win uh, a little getaway here and there is also an opportunity for you but I do see that you have a clear vision in the month of February of like I may not know what the result will be but I know that I'm in the right energy to attract. I am in the right energy to manifest, to just call different things in. I think being and inviting that page of cups energy in this entire year, a lot of things can come in because you're open to receive with this energy. Like you're curious, you are, you know, out there, uh, you're connecting, you're communicating, you're interested in, in different type of cultures, different type of people, different groups, like really putting things together. I see with the Queen of Cups in March, basically you start to evolve in that. Like it goes really quickly in the beginning of the year, really setting your intentions right when it comes to your emotions. I feel like you don't want to hide your emotions or you don't want certain emotion emotions, <laughs> let me speak, um, to just, you know, take over. So you don't want a certain emotion to ruin um you know your fun or you know how you're feeling about things like you may you know have been going through a hard time in in 2020 i mean there's a lot of uh, loss and maybe you felt left out in the cold in in 2020 or not supported in some way shape or form but that is shifting and it is changing and so you're starting to invite healing energy into your surrounding also forgiveness and letting go of grudges and just setting a healthy boundary with yourself and also really understanding yourself on an emotional base and because you're reconnecting on that level you really know what you want i do feel like you find yourself might maybe having a secret crush in the beginning of the year on someone that doesn't it's not for all but for some of you it really is like you have strong feelings for someone but you're not expressing it like you're keeping it to yourself in the beginning of the year all right maybe in springtime you actually open up because you see that there's there is an opportunity there and like those feelings are not going away and you feel like okay, at least i want to go out and express it so that's something you might actually do because it's a great year for you to meet someone or to actually take an existing connection to a next level i really feel that there's a lot of development when it comes to your relationships with other people and also romantic relationships this year so the four of swords there's something that sorry the seven of swords in the fourth month so april there is maybe something you're keeping from someone like i said maybe in feelings but it could also be that you're piling up things like maybe you're really emotionally balanced in the beginning of the year and then in april you feel like okay i'll deal with this later i'll deal with that later i'll deal with this and i feel you're extending yourself a little bit too much like with the seven of swords and i feel like your health is very important to like if you're emotionally balanced if you pile things up 
it can have an effect on your emotional and your physical body, right? So that's something I do feel for you, Sag. Just like keep an eye on how much you're actually uh, overstepping your own boundaries here and there. But overall, I do see that your capability of making clear decisions of cutting certain things out, certain behavior, certain patterns and things like that, you really are re reconnecting with a part of yourself, with yourself, higher self, basically. So Four of Swords, April, I'm going to clarify that. Let's see what it indicates. A of once yes exactly that's that quick moving energy something may go a little bit too quick and um, you're trying to you keep in something to yourself about that like something is really going a little bit too quickly but it's not like you're you want to put brakes on it at the same time you have a hard time really you know finding a balance in that so for April your advice is to Get to a calmer place to ground yourself and then communicate from that place. If you communicate on, you know, not completely being transparent, it is just going to feel overwhelming to you at times. So I feel like if you're communicating strongly from a, a peaceful place, there might actually be something in, in, you know, in the dark and it comes to light in the month of April and then you can actually move forward and away from it. So there might be a truth that's coming out in the month of April. And then when you know the truth, when you know what is what, you make a clear decision in the month of May. You make a very strong decision in the month of May because with the lovers, it's like... Yes, it's love, it's connection, definitely. But it's also making a decision, making a commitment, making, uh, you know, inviting in or exiting it out. So clarify for the lovers, please. In the month of May, clarify for the lovers. Nine of Wands, exactly. You make a decision, you stick with it and you run with it and you're going to build new things based upon that decision that you made. So you're back on your feet in the month of may the world card as well yeah you're ready for a new shift new change i really felt that in the beginning already when i put the cards down i was like springtime maybe start off a certain way but definitely while it progresses into the summer you're actually really in your higher energy yeah excited motivated that energy is really coming in. I also want to give you guys a side note. Like if you're thinking about writing a book or maybe a blog or something like that, it's a really good year to start. Okay, so I just wanted to um, put that in, you know, out there. Four of Cups. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Why is June sending you into, four, into the Four of Cups energy? You might actually have someone around you who is not really open to receive that really exciting energy you feel like it's not really on board you know so the four of cups with the eight of pentacles is that you might not want ex someone to help you be careful with who you um you know exit out basically in the month of june there might something might come on your pathway and one sec. Yeah. The month of June might start off in a certain way of like, okay, I feel all this motivation. I feel all this, you know, I feel inspired. I want to change things. I want to evolve and grow. But you might not see the how. And you might, you know, it might be this inner voice or this, you know, feeling of like, I tried before, didn't work, what am I supposed to do? Something is going to shift in the month of June and I really feel it's connect, strongly connected to the eclipses in that month. It's like, no, you know what? I am in control. I take back control. So you receive a message or a person with certain advice in the month of June and you get back to work. Like you start off. It might start off a little bit rocky, might start off like, I don't know where to start with this, but you soon figure it out. Yeah, you will definitely soon figure it out and 
you take up your journey there so you might actually in the month of july have like a small getaway or you know some short trips here and there or you have like really nice fun days like beach days and things like that coming together with people um like-minded people people you know so like it, these are your people basically is how i'm feeling barbecues you know all of the good things fun things in the month of july i'm going to clarify the three of cups you might have like this shift of like okay i'm really focused i'm really work uh working hard and then it's like okay you know what i'm gonna take a break in july and then you're taking august to like sort of come back to yourself and then um september is definitely month where you are going to put you know back in things back into motion here we have the beautiful high priestess in combination with the three of cups you might feel inspired to do something with your intuitive gifts and energy but overall i just feel like you're if connecting with people who are on the same level as you soul wise like soul family connection is what i'm feeling also could be a scorpio that's close to you in that at that time all right the temperance so that was a beautiful gracefully falling card look at that you have the king of cups here so back on that king and queen energy with the cups again i feel that you're going through this moment of rebirth reconnection re hormone hormone what's the word harmonizing i don't know why they would use that word but it just came to me anyway a harmonious energy i just feel like you're taking the month of August really to reconnect with yourself and to balance things out and to just tune in. And I also see that maybe the person you were crushing on at the beginning of the year is really coming in in the month of August. Like things are taking, you know, you it's something is reciprocated to you. If you are in um in a relationship right now, I do see some shifts and changes there as well like things being taken to the next level if you're dealing if you're in a relationship with a gemini that person is really in the springtime beginning of springtime is really is like on their a focus on their themselves and it might you know put you off in the beginning because you're like okay like when do you have when do you have time but at, at one point they start to inspire you as well so i guess that's very positive and if it's vice versa it's also possible because it's a general reading the moon card yeah there's like this on things that weren't showing are definitely coming to light in the month of august and i feel that the page of swords and the tree of swords i feel like there might be a moment where you are disappointed Yeah, you're disappointed by something and it kind of puts you into the King of Swords energy. It's like, you know what? I don't want to talk to you right now. So going back and forward a little bit with feeling in alignment and then, you know, completely off the off. I shouldn't record right now because I cannot get my speech under control. For some reason, the planets right now are just glitching. For some reason, I have that. <laughs> like Mercury is in retrograde, basically. That's how I feel. I hope that you don't find it too annoying and you're still here and you're still listening and you're still open to receive the messages that are not coming in so clearly, but I'm trying really hard, okay? I'm just putting it out there. What I do feel with this is because there's so much seven house energy and I gotta tell, I just gotta be really honest with you, especially if you're dealing with a relationship so that seven house activation can really have really high highs and extremely low lows all right it's not here to stay forever you guys will find a harmonious space in, in the middle but when this seven house energy is so active and you are an existing relationship and you're not really having plans of like you know 
stepping out, you might will f and will feel that way now and then in the, in this year. You might actually feel like I want to break free. I don't want this anymore. And then you have another like two extremely good balance weeks, and you're like, oh, I remember now. I feel connected again. So going back and forth a little bit is really a natural process. It's not the most fun experience. I'm just gonna be really honest. But it definitely strengthens the connection on like a next level. It does because you get to know yourself and each other so well, but that other other person is also getting to know themselves on such a deeper level and you both grow through that experience. Like I said, it's not the most fun, but it definitely brings in gifts to the connection and you learn what you're meant to learn in the connection. So that's something I just wanted to put out there that you will have your moments of doubt, you have your moments of maybe regret or, you know, yeah, just the doubts, like going back and forth a little bit. Should I, shouldn't I? I kind of want this and maybe I don't want this anymore. But the you, if you keep on focusing on the communication and when the communication takes place, so not when you're all high up in your energy, but say, listen, time out time out and you remove yourself from each other's energy and then come back and have a com good conversation and be open and honest and then take it to the next you know level basically you might have your moments where you fall back but you will get yourself back up together and it strengthens the connection very deeply and so that's what i'm saying it can feel like beautiful rainbow sunshine like it can feel so deep and harmonious and it can also feel like someone is literally putting knives through your heart all right i'm not saying it's true actions it's just the disconnect you can feel now and then it's almost like it just there's like this um wall between it so what i'm seeing in you know end of summer early fall season you start off with feeling good feeling connected and then it shifts and it's like i really just feel so balanced right now why is this relationship taking me down back there again you know or vice versa it's like my relationship is going good but i am a hot mess I'm drained, I'm exhausted, or I don't feel it anymore, or it's like, what is wrong with my emotions? What are, why am I feeling this way? Why am I having these thoughts? Why do I want to run? <laughs> you know, you will go back and forth a little bit, but it's like I said, it's a journey and it will definitely bring great gifts to the connection and to your own personal connection with yourself. And that's life, you see? And that's why I'm just being really open and honest because I also went through that uh, seven house north node eclipse thing these last couple of years and I've seen a pattern not with just myself but with other people around me as well so if you know before you get into this boat that it could be a bumpy ride and it could be very smooth sailing but it's not only about the journey it's also about the destination you will reach while you're going through this journey and I think that that's a way like it's worth it it's worth the trouble it's worth the inner work okay so in october you really are focusing about releasing 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 so things might have triggered you in the month of september and of course we we're in virgo season then and all the details all of a sudden matter and are way more out there <laughs> and so in october you're just really ready to just release undo yourself it's like whoa i've seen these triggers with me or with the other person and you're both coming to a point where like i need to release that why am i feeling so triggered in this why am i you know keeping myself from trying this new thing really on a deeper level and thinking wow this is makes sense this is you know it clicks it's from 12 years ago or it's like last year or it's you know hey i'm ready to take a next step i have my uh set and return or something like that you know it's like energy like that is it's really good because it sets you up for november as in the end of november is your season and the page of pentacles you really true your emotional roller coaster this year can be through the emotional roller coaster this year can be it gives you material wealth and it just gives you something you can work with 
it's not here to just ruin your day <laughs> you know and then give you a good day again and a bad day no it's about it gives you something gives you growth and i feel that it definitely will help you move forward and let me see what's the page of pentacles indicating you because yeah the six of pentacles you're receiving something true a devil energy Ooh, Sag. with the queen of pentacles you see this energy of like the page of pentacles starting off with something and you have the six of pentacles then you have the devil here and then you end up as the queen of pentacles so you learn and you grow not only individually but also together you learn and you grow and you evolve and i think you're going to be on a next level together in the end of the year if you are connected to someone if not you will probably meet someone and that person will sort of trigger you here and there but that's not because you know the person is just likes to trigger you no it's actually in the little small details here and there and it's like oh wait i'm actually reflecting this back on myself i should work on this i should tune into this because i don't want to feel this way about myself and it's also not fair towards anyone who i invite into my life or vice versa so very very all over the place here i'm just gonna be honest but it is exciting and it's adventurous and you will have your really high highs and you have some low lows but it will at least you know the low lows will definitely be there for a very solid reason and it will bring you f forward takes you up to the next level and like i said see really good energy ar around your work putting in the work but it's your work right it's like a thing that you were meant to do things that are just connected to you on a deeper level it's just like sort of your name tag is on it and like you come in alignment with it this year like i said if you feel guided to write a book do so this year is a great year for that communicate with other people expand your horizons and uh, you know see it as a opportunity for growth this year all right i'm going to pick up a spirit message for you Find your center, exactly. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation on what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? It's very powerful. So it really is connected to this energy. It's like it strengthens the bond you have with yourself because sometimes on the outside things are not flowing. But then it's also the moment where you really can connect and count on yourself and, and get back to that connection. And sometimes things that go in on outside of you actually is a manifestation of what's going on within you. And I do really see such major growth in that for you which is very valuable it's like a key you know it's like collecting a certain key to a door you couldn't really unlock before and you didn't even think you needed it you see sometimes you receive something in your life you're like this is the best thing i receive and especially this is the thing i didn't know i needed but like i'm enjoying the most that's 2021 for you will get, give you certain experiences and lessons that you didn't think or knew you needed but you your soul did and it guided you right to it so definitely an exciting year Sag for you as well on an individual level you have your first house and you can really rediscover your pathway who you are what you want what you love and uh, what you are going to release okay i think that that was the reading i got for you right now for this year of course i'll be here every month along the you know this year basically and um i hope that it was helpful and brought you some clarity don't be freaked out about the depth of things because 
there's like I said a lot of high highs hiding in there as well so I love you Sage. happy birthday once again and I'll see you back soon with the January readings bye